Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching a Mohawk Mongol, Mangol, Mangol, Mongol, Mongol video. Um, and the video in relation, as you can see right here, is why are Indian men like this? And by like this, that means holding hands. So from a Western perspective, typically you only hold hands with those that you have some sort of uh, significant relation with, be that uh, family so you can hold hands with a family member or a loved one, a lover, um, a partner, you know, girlfriend, boyfriend, wife, uh, husband, spouse, whatever it may be. Uh, but I have seen uh, and I've been told by a couple people that uh, Indian men do tend to just hold hands with their friends. And it's again, it's unusual here, um, but over in India you can see apparently i don't know I've, I've never been but apparently you can just you know if you're walking down the street you can see indian men holding hands so um i wanted to hear this perspective on why exactly men do that and this video popped up randomly and uh it brought back you know the thought of oh yeah i was i was going to ask questions on why why indian men hold hands so uh, here we are, Mohawk Mongol. While on a walk at the beach or on the way to work, we see men holding hands all the time. This happens all around us and hence is not something that piques our attention. But when Vincent Dolman, I don't know who Vincent Dolman is, a British photographer noticed this on his trip to India. Oh, okay. Uh, he found it very interesting and started documenting the same. Documenting the same. I don't know if that that's the correct... Okay. Uh, it was something very alien to him and where he was from. So it begs the question, why do Indian men hold hands and why is that not a universal phenomenon? I just think that, wow, he's got so many links in his, uh, his video here. I just think it is, um, you know, just, I don't know. It just, it's just, it's just not common. It, like, like I said before, it's for, for us over here in the West, uh, in the U S of a, um, yeah, you, you really typically only hold hands with, with like, I don't know, you, you close family and even then typically not very much. Uh, and then, then like your spouse or like your kids or something. That's, that's about it. So I think without further ado, we've already been recording for a couple minutes now. Let's go ahead and watch the video and see what uh, is to be said. Oh yeah, see, this, this, they're even like interlocking their fingers. See, that's a bit unusual, like, especially over here. He's like pulling his hand. Hmm. ये फोटोज ये थी विंसेंट डोल में एक ब्रिटिश फोटोग्राफर ने और इन फोटोज में जो दिखाई दे रहा है उसके बारे में कई लोगों ने बात करी है देवदत्त पटनायक जो एक इंडियन माइथोलॉजिस्ट और ऑथर है उन्होंने इस चीज के बारे में लिखा भी था उन्होंने कहा कि जब वो मुंबई एयरपोर्ट लाउंज की तरफ जा रहे थे उन्होंने दो चीजें नोटिस करी एक तरफ एक कपल था जो बहुत थका हुआ था और सोफे पर सो रहा था okay. वो सोते वक्त एक दूसरे को हक कर रहे थे और जो भी उनके पास से गुजर रहा था उनको बार-बार देखे जा रहा था वहीं दूसरी तरफ उन्होंने दो हाउसकीपिंग के स्टाफ मेंबर्स को देखा जिन्होंने एक दूसरे के हाथ पकड़े हुए थे अपने ब्रेक के दौरान पर इस बार किसी ने भी पलट कर उनको देखा नहीं ये इतना सब इवन एट वर्क यू होल्ड यू होल्ड हैंड्स विद लाइक योर कोवर्कर्स दैट सीम्स वियर्ड आई डोंट नो होल्डिंग हैंड्स विद योर कोवर्कर्स आई डोंट नो देयरस देयर नीड्स टू बी लाइक अ डेफिनेट लाइन बिटवीन I don't know, but then, then again, you know, it's it's different. See, I'm coming at it from an American's perspective again, because like, you don't want to cross that boundary where you're 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 having like intimate relations with a coworker, right? Because typically that just leads to drama, that leads to arguing, that leads to potentially like uh, issues at work. Um, so I don't know. It's, it's surprising to me. प्राइजिंग है क्योंकि वेस्टर्न दुनिया में बिल्कुल ऑपोजिट होता है जब पब्लिक में एक मेल और फीमेल एक दूसरे की तरफ एफेक्शन दिखा रहे होते हैं तो उनको पलट कर कोई देखता नहीं है पर चाहे गे रिलेशंस के इशू पर कितनी भी एडवांस हो वेस्टर्न कंट्रीज अभी भी अगर दो मेन ने अपने हाथ पकड़े हुए हैं तो उनको पलट कर कई लोग देखते हैं मेन इन पर्टिकुलर होल्डिंग right uh, <laughs> i guess okay so he went at it from a perspective of of gay men in the west holding hands it catches the eye more than like a straight couple holding hands and then i guess you know what if you think about it yeah maybe mm, no I, like i'm i'm trying to think of like i don't really 
Like if, if I were to see anybody holding hands, I would presume they were in a relationship. It doesn't matter if they're straight or gay or whatever. Right. So I, I don't know. Well, then, then that, that, that brings up the point. Do men and women in India hold hands when they're friends or is that something that's not done as, and it's only like the only, only the men hold their hands with friends. I don't, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. जब विंसेंट डोलमन ने दो दोस्तों से पूछा कि उन्होंने अपने हाथ पकड़े क्यों हैं, विंसेंट ने कहा कि उन दो दोस्त ने उनको ऐसे देखा जैसे वो एक बेवकूफ सा सवाल पूछ रहे हैं। अरे भाई वो दो दोस्त हैं, वो अपने हाथ क्यों नहीं पकड़ सकते तो ये प्रैक्टिस बहुत ही स्ट्रेंज है और इसी के बारे में हम इस वीडियो में बात करेंगे की इंडियन मैन एक दूसरे के हाथ पकड़ते क्यों है पब्लिक अब सबसे पहले okay. बात करते हैं कि इस पर वीडियो बनी क्यों रहा है ये एक बड़ी बात है ही क्यों? वो इसलिए है क्योंकि वेस्टर्न सोसाइटी में किसी भी तरीके का अगर फिजिकल कांटेक्ट होता है मेन के बीच तो अभी भी वो बहुत अनकंफर्टेबल माना जाता है it's homophobia at least not from my perspective maybe it's homophobia from other people but like my perspective it, it, it i i knew that it was in a viewpoint of friends holding hands so i just thought that friends holding hands was unusual and that's what i the question that i had he's saying from a western perspective is a homophobic perspective on why people question two grown men holding hands and i i that's that's not the case for me i just want to get that out there right now Um, but it's interesting. I, I will continue to watch the video. और इसके पीछे एक मेजर कारण है होमोफोबिया यानी कि गे मैन के खिलाफ प्रेजिडिस A 23-year-old Ahmedabad resident has alleged that he was raped and brutally beaten up by two policemen. The man says when he What? admitted to the policemen that he was indeed a member of the LGBT community, they beat him up and forced him to have sex with them. एक basically Where did that come from? Okay. रूल बन गया है कि अडल्ट मैन के बीच किसी भी तरीके का फिजिकल इंटरेक्शन नहीं हो सकता मार्क ग्रीन जो एक ऑथर है जिन्होंने मैन और मैस्क्यूलिनिटी Vivid storytelling, remaking manhood. Mark interviews his own deeply personal stories with a, I can't read that, uh, and powerful deconstruction of manhood in America. Remaking manhood. Dominance-based masculinity. What? What is this? What is he getting on about here? I don't know. I guess I guess watch the video and he'll explain. Mark Green who is the author who writes extensively about men and masculinity. के बारे में बहुत लिखा है. उन्होंने कहा कि मेन के बीच में वैसे says that the lack of non-sexual physical touch among men in western society but the root of all of these flawed rationalizations is the fact that most american men are never taught to do gentle non-sexual touch. What? What is where is the basis in this? What is he talking about? सोसाइटी में किसी भी तरीके का नॉन सेक्सुअल फिजिकल टच नहीं पाया जाता उसकी वजह से कई मैन वी क्रेव टच वी आर कट ऑफ फ्रॉम इट द रिजल्ट इज टच आइसोलेशन आई डोंट नो आई डोंट नो इफ आई एग्री विद दिस मैन के बीच एक टच आइसोलेशन हो गई है इस आइसोलेशन की वजह से मैन फिजिकली और इमोशनली डिसकनेक्टेड फील करते हैं जिसकी वजह से उनके बीच स्ट्रेस आइसोलेशन और लोनलीनेस बढ़ गई है अब आप पूछ See this is weird. Okay, so that's I don't know. I don't know. Um raised not to have gentle touch. I don't know. Maybe it's different for me, but I've I've always been raised like okay, you give your friends hugs, even male friends, you hug your male friends as well, right? When you see them, you you shake their hand, you give them a hug, stuff like that. And then gentle touch as well. You always you're always gentle with like family uh younger family members as well like you're raised to be like what do you, what, do you, what gentle touch not what okay what was the statement again this is this is weird but the root of all these flawed rationalizations is the fact that most american men are never taught to do gentle non-sexual touch that, that is asinine okay all right sorry that i personally find this statement right here asinine but we'll continue on 
की वजह से कई मैन के बीच एक टच आइसोलेशन हो गई है इस आइसोलेशन की वजह से मैन फिजिकली और इमोशनली डिसकनेक्टेड फील करते हैं जिसकी वजह से उनके बीच स्ट्रेस आइसोलेशन और लोनलीनेस बढ़ गई है अब आप पूछोगे कि लैक ऑफ फिजिकल टच की वजह से इतनी सीरियस प्रॉब्लम जैसे लोनलीनेस कैसे हो सकती है डेज कैल्टना जो यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ कैलिफोर्निया में साइकोलॉजी की प्रोफेसर है उन्होंने साइंस ऑफ टच Hands on research the science of touch. A pat on the back, a caress of the arm, these are everyday incidental gestures that we usually take for granted thanks to our amazingly dexterous hands, but after years spent immersed in the science of touch, I can tell you that they are far more profound than we usually realize. They are a primary language of compassion and primary means for spreading compassion. In recent years, Uh, a wave of studies has documented that some incredible emotional and physical health benefits come from touch. This research suggests that touch is fundamental to human communication, bonding and health. के बारे में बहुत रिसर्च करी है और उन्होंने कहा कि टच एक बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट तरीका है कम्पैशन स्प्रेड करने के लिए इस चीज को प्रूव करने के लिए उन्होंने एक बहुत ही इंटरेस्टिंग एक्सपेरिमेंट किया उन्होंने दो स्ट्रेंजर्स लिए और उनके बीच एक बैरियर लगा दिया फिर उन्होंने एक स्ट्रेंजर को कहा कि वो अपना हाथ बैरियर के थ्रू डाले और फिर डिफरेंट इमोशन कम्युनिकेट करें अपने बस टच से जैसे एंगर फियर ग्रेटिट्यूड और लव सरप्राइजिंगली उन्होंने पाया की जो दूसरा स्ट्रेंजर था उस एक्सपेरिमेंट में वो करीब सिक्सटी टाइम एकदम करेक्टली इमोशन को गैस कर पाए थे तो ये दिखाता है कि एक फिजिकल टच कितना जरूरी है इमोशन कम्युनिकेट करने के लिए पर मार्क ग्रीन कहते हैं कि वेस्टर्न सोसाइटी में मेन के बीच किसी भी तरीके का नॉन सेक्सुअल फिजिकल टच बहुत अजीब ओके नॉन सेक्सुअल फिजिकल टच बिटवीन मेन इज कंसीडर्ड वियर्ड Uh, maybe not a continuous touch right like like again it, it, it it's brought back to the holding hands why do men in the west not hold hands because it's considered more of like a lover or like a close family thing but there is non sexual touch between men at least for in my for me growing up there always has been there's always been uh handshakes like i said you know that's typically a, a profound greeting you always go shake their hands you know you give each other hugs hugging is is usually a very big thing i guess um uh, okay weird weird ajeeb mana jata hai par ye same cheez hum indian society mein pa sakte hain to sawal ye hai ki aisa kyun this is this, this is what i want to know i, I want to know why men in india hold hands that's all i want to know Uh, it's not as if in india the society is very advanced regarding homosexuality or masculinity it's surprising isliye hai kyunki aisa nahi ki indian society bahut hi advanced hai homosexuality ke bare mein ya fir masculinity ke bare mein agar hum homosexuality ke bare mein baat kare to supreme court ne homosexual decriminalize homosexuality says history owes lgbtq community an apology क्वालिटी को डीक्रिमिनलाइज जरूर कर दिया था 2018 में पर ऐसा नहीं है कि पूरी सोसाइटी ने कोलकाता टायर्ड ऑफ फिजिकल अब्यूज गेम एंड फाइल्स कंप्लेंट अगेंस्ट पेरेंट्स व्हाट इस प्रैक्टिस को एक्सेप्ट कर लिया इंडिया में अगर आपने ये वीडियोस देखे होंगे कि कई लोग अभी भी होमोसेक्सुअलिटी को एक्सेप्ट करने के लिए तैयार नहीं है लड़का लड़का सोए ये कोई ये है बेकार की बात पीपल द सेम सेक्स स्लीपिंग टुगेदर दिस इज रबिश बिल्कुल बेकार की बात है अगर आपका बच्चा गे हो तो आप क्या करोगे थप्पड़ मारोगे आप उसके पहले स्लैप हिम डू दैट्स रॉन्ग दैट्स मेस्ड अप आई वुड फिनिश बोथ ऑफ देम ऑफ ब्रोस गेयर देन गे ही इज गोना फिनिश बोथ ऑफ देम ऑफ वो खत्म करूंगा खत्म करूंगा मतलब जीसस क्राइस्ट मतलब मतलब क्या होता है खत्म खत्म करना एक दो दैट दैट्स वाओ ओके और दैट की स्टडी ने दिखाया कि बस 30% इंडियन जी होमोस Uh, percentage of Indians supportive of homosexuality is only 30%. Really? I wonder what the percentage here in the US is. Uh, he might show it. Sexuality को support करते हैं. और अगर हम masculinity के बारे में बात करें. You might not show it. I'll just look it up really quick. I found this Gallup poll information here for LGBTQ rights. I I went and looked, and it doesn't look like it says how many people were polled. And again, you know my perspective on polls is. typically polls you just it's hard to believe the number especially if the number of polling is small but when it comes to things like this maybe it's a bit more accurate i'm not sure but typically like like right here it, it within the past you know 10 years it looks like um around 60 to 70% have have approved of 
What is just marriage between same-sex couples? Okay, so I would imagine it's even higher that of the the straight of just approval rate of LGBTQ is higher than that because people there. I know I know some people that are like they approve of 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 gay rights and people being LGBT, but then they also think that marriage should be like a Christian thing. So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, somewhat satisfied. What is this? Next, we'd like to know how you feel about the state of the nation in in each of the following areas. Huh. The acceptance of gay and lesbians in the nation. Ma the majority of people. Okay. I, 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 would, I, would, I would easily say that the majority, the majority of people in the U.S. think, um, oh yeah, do you think gay or lesbian relations between consenting adults should or should not be legal? And, you know, 80% here says that it should be legal. So, again, the, the majority of people in the U.S. find homosexuality fine. And yet, it's, I, 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 it's funny. It's really funny because... I would say the USA is probably in the top, uh, near the top for LGBTQ rights and relations and acceptance. And yet there's so many people online that say that the, the U S like hates gay people. And I, I just, I just find that asinine. I just find that very, very, very weird statement. But again, um, the Gallup poll here, unfortunately doesn't, I, I don't know where to go to actually get like percentages and numbers and, and polling numbers and figures and who was polled. Um, I don't know. Maybe that's something I gotta, I gotta look into. It looks like this website's a little busted, but I think this is, yeah, I don't know. This website's kind of busted, but I think this is what he's getting this data from the mint 2018 data on India. Um, yes, yeah, so this is, this is live mint September, 2018, um, homosexuality in India. It even has like percentages, supportive percentages of homosexuality yeah, between Sweden, of course. Yeah, the Nordic country is always going to be a little bit more supportive. But even even at this time frame of 2014, you can see that the U.S. is fairly high, even higher than India. This is, They're saying only 42%. That's weird. I definitely don't think it's only 42%. And they're saying India is 30%. Um, again, I don't know. I don't know where they're getting their polling data from, I mean, they're probably doing their own polling data, but this, their website is so borked. It's so broken. Wow. But, um, yeah, like I said before, I'm going to try to find the sources for most things for things that I, I feel like are, should be noted, but even then, okay, this is from 2014. This is 10 years ago. Like we, we need a more up-to-date source than this. So I, I, I don't know this 30% figure. I would imagine it's a lot higher now. And especially with the 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 increase in social media and internet in India within the past ten years, it's probably way way higher. And the reason I say, well, like even then, like I I, I talk to a gay Indian men like all the time. <laughs> so I don't know. I just I feel like I don't know thirty percent. But then again, thirty percent is is of a country with like one point four billion people is quite a bit still. But I I think I think the the percentage is actually higher. पसंद इंडियन जी होमोसेक्सुअलिटी को सपोर्ट करते हैं और अगर हम मास्कुलिनिटी के बारे में बात करें तो उसके बारे में भी व्यूज हमारे चेंज नहीं हुए 2010 के इंटरनेशनल मेन और इनिशियल रिजल्ट्स फॉर द इंटरनेशनल मेन एंड जेंडर इक्वालिटी सर्वे जेंडर इक्वालिटी के सर्वे ने दिखाया कि 86% इंडियन 86% इंडियन मेन बिलीव दैट टू बी अ मैन वन नीड्स टू बी टफ वेल I mean, it is kind of हार्ड कोडेड इनटू आवर डीएनए दैट वी वी आर टिपिकली टफ अर we not we don't necessarily need to be tough, but men are typically quote unquote tougher. They build muscle mass easier. They have the broader shoulders. They're like their actual physical bodies can lean to be tougher. And men, ye mante ki ek mard. Not necessarily need, meaning you have to be tough, but you men typically are tougher. निकले उनको टफ होना चाहिए ये वाइडली माना जाता है कि अगर आप इमोशनल सेंसिटिव या फिर कंपैशनेट हैं तो मैस्कुलिन नहीं है. Hmm, I, I think that might be true. I think this might be true. Typically, typically men don't have, like, the, the, typically men don't show their emotion out. Um, yeah, men men do tend to be a little bit more reserved when when expressing expressing emotion. 
पैशनेट है तो आप मैस्कुलिन नहीं है इसका मतलब है कि कई लड़कों के लिए अपने इमोशंस एक्सप्रेस करना या फिर अपनी प्रॉब्लम्स के बारे में बात करना एक सही तरीका नहीं है और इंडिया में हम एक रिजिड मैस्कुलिनिटी का एग्जाम्पल देखते हैं इस रिजिड मैस्कुलिनिटी के हिसाब से कई रूल्स अडोप्ट करने होते हैं लड़कों को जैसे रेणुका मोतिहार ने अपनी दो की न्यूज रिपोर्ट में बताया There was also unsaid rules on what boys themselves could and couldn't do. A young man shared that he enjoyed cooking, but his family frowned upon upon it until he rationalized it for them. He needed to learn it, he said, in order to survive. Once he began to live uh, for higher studies and work, the some of the like literally some of the best cooks in the world are men. So this is this is just like the the cloudedness uh, of the view of his family because if you if if you do go around and you look at top chefs it's 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 men right कि जब उत्तर प्रदेश के एक यंग लड़के ने अपनी फैमिली को ये बताया कि उनको कुकिंग करना अच्छा लगता है तो उनकी फैमिली ने उसको पूरी तरह रिजेक्ट कर दिया और जब रूरल महाराष्ट्र के इन अनदर इंटरेक्शन यंग मैरिड मैन इन रूरल महाराष्ट्र शेयर्ड हाउ दे There was opposition from the within the family initially when they started doing household work and helping their wives. One man shared how the biggest opposition was from his parents, especially his mother. She felt I would become my wife's slave. Her fear was that I would leave my parents and not listen to her. Hmm. Interesting. And this was coming from his mother. That's interesting. Hmm. But you I mean if you live on your own you got to do your own housework right that's this is just like basic things this is this is something that should be taught everyone should be taught how to clean everyone should be taught how to do laundry how to cook uh, like these are like the 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 most basic basic of basic of necessities and knowing and knowledge of how to do things right like what are you going to do if you live on your own but again then again i guess this is in perspective of them living with their wives but at the same time you know you shouldn't your wife shouldn't be have to do everything के कुछ मैरिड मैन ने ये शेयर किया कि वो अपनी बीवी की मदद करते हैं हाउस होल्ड वर्क में तो वट इज दिस स्पेलिंग ऑफ मैस्किलिटी हेयर एम ए एस क्यू यू एल आई एन आई टी वाई उनको अपने परिवार से डिसअप्रूवल मिला इसलिए ये इतना सरप्राइजिंग नहीं है कि 2019 में गवर्नमेंट सर्वे ने दिखाया कि लेस देन टेन परसेंट पटनायक और मौसमी भट्टाचार्य के हिसाब से इंडियन ब्रोमैंस एक इम्पोर्टेंट फैक्टर हो सकता है जो इस चीज को एक्सप्लेन कर सकता है I mean we have the, there's bromance here in the US as well but it doesn't doesn't lead to holding hands words ka combination hai brother or romance usko generally defined kiya jata hai ki wo ek close non a bromance is about homo wait two men who love each other intensely as friends are called sakas saka bhav or bromance is about homo social sociality i got it so sociality homo sociality and even homo eroticism but not homosexuality uh it is viewed as pure relationship lust is not allowed to creep in on sexual relationship hai males ke beech okay in india mein romance in india means yarna ganara dastana we saw on in full display when jai and veru rode on bikes in the 1975 film Shola wow he like cut this off uh in the 1990 journalist Ashok Rao Kavi stated started the publication of Bombay Dost in 1999 Hashang Merchant published an anthology of gay writing called Yarana gay writing from India okay hum isko yarana ya fir dostana bhi bolte kai baar par ye indian romance hmm. ka culture aaya kahan se devdatt patnayak ke hisab se ye romance ka idea indian society mein bahut time se present tha aur ye concept hum indian mythology mein bhi dekh sakte hain indian mythology mein do men jo ek Bromance from mythology two men who love each other intensely as friends are called sakas so we know that two women who love each other and is they call or uh, who love each other are called sakis sakis okay एक दूसरे से प्यार करते हैं फ्रेंड्स की तरह उनको सखा और भाव कहा जाता है इस रिलेशनशिप में लव है पर कुछ भी सेक्सुअल नहीं है दैट्स द केस ओवर हियर इज वेल ओके और वो कहते हैं कि ऐसे रिलेशनशिप का हम एग्जाम्पल महाभारत में भी देख सकते हैं वो कहते हैं कि अर्जुन और कृष्ण के बीच जो फ्रेंडशिप है वो सखा भाव का ही उदाहरण है इंडियन माइथोलॉजी के अलावा अगर कोई भी मीडियम है जहाँ हमने इस ब्रोमांस को बहुत देखा है 
वो है बॉलीवुड अब चाहे बॉलीवुड ने होमोसेक्सुअलिटी को ढंग से प्रमोट नहीं किया हो पर इंडियन ब्रोमैंस को बहुत प्रमोट किया है इस मुद्दे के ऊपर तो मौसमी भट्टाचार्य ने अपनी पी भी लिखी थी कई मूवीज ने इस मुद्दे को एक्सप्लोर किया है और इस इश्यू को कई गानों के जरिए भी दिखाया गया अब वेस्टर्न मूवीज की तरह इंडियन मूवीज ने चाहे एक ऑन स्क्रीन केस ना दिखाई हो दो मेन के बीच पर कई मूवीज ने लड़कों को हक करते हुए और एक साथ डांस करते हुए दिखाया पर हम सभी को This is this is also something in the US as well. Like we have these things in movies. We have like like I said, it's maybe may you know what maybe it's just a cultural thing. Maybe it's 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 just like a a view on on relationship. Like typically holding hands is is viewed for solely family and relations over here in the US, but in India it's I I, I again, I I I want to know why. पता है कि बॉलीवुड का कितना बड़ा इम्पैक्ट पड़ता है हमारी सोसाइटी पर इसीलिए ये ब्रोमांच का जो कल्चर है जिसको बॉलीवुड ने बहुत प्रमोट किया है हो सकता है कि इंडियन सोसाइटी में उसी की वजह से आया हो दूसरा फैक्टर जिसकी वजह से ये प्रैक्टिस इंडियन सोसाइटी में पाई जाती है वो है इंडियन पेट्रियार की परम्परा प्रतिष्ठा अनुशासन हमने एक पिछले वीडियो में डिस्कस किया था कि इंडियन सोसाइटी में रिजिड मैस्कुलिनिटी और पेट्रियार की वजह से लड़कों को कुछ रूल्स फॉलो करने पड़ते हैं परिवार की परंपरा का हमारे परिवार की परंपरा का परंपरा है परंपरा बेटे परंपरा इस घर की परंपरा को समझते हैं से कई रूल्स लड़कियों पर भी अप्लाई करते हैं जैसे एक रूल कि अच्छी लड़कियां लड़कों से बात नहीं करती जिसका मतलब है कि इंडियन सोसाइटी में लड़के और लड़कियां हर जगह डिवाइडेड हो जाते हैं इसका मतलब है कि रूरल इंडिया में जहां पेट्रियार की बहुत हद तक पाई जाती Yeah, see this this is why. Okay, so there's a huge separation in India. Okay, so men and women typically don't do things together outside of dating. I'm I'm assuming. Yeah, kai ladke zyada female interaction experience hi nahi karte. Apni family members, chahe wo maa ho ya fir behan ho, unke alawa wo male female friendship ke relations itne experience hi nahi kar pate. Jiska matlab hai ki ghar ke bahar wo jo bhi activity karte hain, wo ladko ke beech hi karte hain. Jiska matlab hai ki agar unko koi bhi emotion express bhi karna hai, वो वो अपने मेल फ्रेंड्स के साथ ही कर सकते हैं और एक दूसरे का हाथ पकड़ना एक तरीका है इस इमोशन को एक्सप्रेस करने का ओके सो दिस दैट्स द रूट्स ऑफ इट दैट्स द ओरिजिन ऑफ इट टिपिकली इन इंडिया और एट लीस्ट बिफोर मेन एंड वुमेन डिडंट रियली इंटरैक्ट आउटसाइड ऑफ बिकमिंग पार्ट ऑफ अ रिलेशन ओके ओके ऑल राइट सो दैट दैट मेक्स मोर सेंस नाउ दैट सी दिस इज दिस इज व्हाट आई वांटेड फ्रॉम द वेरी बिगिनिंग जस्ट से दैट आई गेस द वीडियो वुडंट बी अ 9 मिनट लॉन्ग वीडियो talking about it if you just set it up front but okay ye practice ladko ke beech yeah cuz i can remember even even way back in like the early days of school i had female friends that i talked to and played with and stuff and there was no like romantical <laughs> i'm feeling romantical <laughs> there's no like romantical connection right you just played with your friends इसमें जो सेंसिटिविटी है उसको एक्सप्रेस करने का तरीका है और ऐसी सोसाइटी में जहाँ लड़के बस लड़कों के साथ ही इंटरेक्ट करते हैं ये बहुत एक इम्पोर्टेंट प्रैक्टिस हो गई है अब चाहे कोई भी कारण हो इस प्रैक्टिस के पीछे पर ये एक ऐसी प्रैक्टिस है जो हमें प्रिजर्व करनी चाहिए ये बिल्कुल मैटर नहीं करता की वेस्टर्न सोसाइटी में हमें ये प्रैक्टिस देखने को नहीं मिलती इसलिए जब विंसेंट ने कई लड़कों को देखा हाथ पकड़ते हुए स्ट्रेंज वो प्रैक्टिस नहीं थी हो सकता है की स्ट्रेंज ये थी की विंसेंट और हमें ये लगा की वो प्रैक्टिस ही स्ट्रेंज है कई इंडियन लड़कों के लिए एक दूसरे का हाथ पकड़ना एक बहुत मामूली बात है और yeah. ये एक उदाहरण हो सकता है कि ऐसी प्रैक्टिस का जो वेस्टर्न सोसाइटी एक्चुअली इंडियन सोसाइटी से सीख सकती है क्योंकि ये एक ऐसी प्रैक्टिस है जो लव भी स्प्रेड करती है और दोस्तों के बीच में एक बॉन्ड क्रिएट करती है सो होप यू लाइक दीडियो सो डू सब्सक्राइब टूर चैनल अगर आपने सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया ऑल्सो अगर आपको ऐसी रिसर्च और no. अच्छे लगते हैं तो इनको जरूर चेकआउट कीजिए सी यू See you next time. Um I thought it was a bit disingenuous to say that the West these sees it as weird because we're homophobic. I I thought that was really disingenuous cuz I I don't know, saying the West is homophobic. I sure there are homophobic people online. There are homophobic people here in the states, but saying that we find two men holding hands uh, we 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 see that as a homo from a homophobic viewpoint. No. that's not that's not the case i for so i i just wanted to know where like the practice come from because it is unusual for men to hold hands in public even if they're friends typically you only see that in relations relationships and i know that men holding hands in india aren't in relationships so 
that's where my query, my question, my my wonderment came from, not a homophobic viewpoint. And I, I don't know. I felt I felt like him insinuating that it, the, it was it was homophobic. I guess he didn't he didn't specifically say it was homophobic to see it as weird, but there were some assertions in the video that the West sees it as homophobic and for being weird. But I don't know. I'm just trying to defend myself. I have no reason or need to defend myself. I'm not homophobic, so. Um, I'm going to read some comments. Uh, it's not sexuality, but it's brotherhood. Uh, I need to pull my homies aside sometimes because these idiots might fall in, in some gutter while walking sober. I think this is why Western world is going crazy over RRR. This kind of bromance Indian film bring out is way too aspirational. They crave for something like that, not being judged for showing affection. Friends have many scenes where Joey and Chandler hug which is one of the reasons why the show crosses boundaries and generation speaks to a larger audience. The whole non-sexual affection thing is so wholesome. It's great to, it's great that such things are promoted in India and that I'm trying to think there's plenty of video and movies and such where men have quote unquote bromances. It's just not to the point where they're holding hands, I guess. Uh, it's no more gender specific nowadays. Anyone who's attached to someone emotionally holds their hands. In my opinion, more than holding hands, there are more about laying hands on each other shoulders or side hugs. Even groups of boys, you see there would be at least two guys who lay hands on their bro's shoulder. It expresses unity and trust. See that, that we do that in, in the U S um, like putting your hands over an, a, a friend's shoulder or something. Um, we don't necessarily do side hugs. <laughs> we don't do the side hug parts, but we do like the over the shoulder stuff. Like if we're like sitting down talking, you put your hands over each other's shoulder, like, yeah, two friends or something. I don't know. Uh, you should make another video on the why Western people sexualize every kind of physical contact. There is a demographic of Western people that sexualize physical contact. And that's typically the 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 morbidly online <laughs> part of uh, western society um it's pretty common here but i've observed that it's gradually ending as people are getting aware about homosexuality it makes them conscious girls are seen kissing each other even in india then there's no problem man simple reason because we are so much addicted to kabaddi we can't live without forming chain Mohawk literally comes up with so unique, uh, so unique ideas and topics. Holding hands is a great representation of our brotherhood in South Asia countries. We should definitely keep up this practice. Thanks, Mohawk, uh, for focusing on this interesting topic. Uh, this guy makes us feel interested in topics that we really don't care at, at all. Hats off. Indian girls also hold each other's hands. Now that we made a video on this topic, I realize that, that I and a lot of people I know also subconsciously hold hands with their friends. I, I Okay, so I do see a lot of... Um, women holding hands in public in the u.s that that is a more common thing to see uh, my father cooks food for the entire family my mother also cooks but my father always helps um love without being sexual exists because we indian men hold each other uh, uh of our bro friends yeah i mean i love my best friend um in a non-sexual way and i think that's perfectly fine everyone should love your friends i want to see some of the newer comments i want to see this not only men, even females also hold hands. Friendship equals brotherhood and sisterhood. I am a normal Indian, a teenager, and yet I also found find this strange. Also, I never found somebody holding hands. Maybe because it's described in the video, I pr probably overlook it. But interestingly, I never hold hands with men, women, or family for that matter. My hands feel uncomfortably stretched. It's uncomfortable. I wonder how many India are there in the world. I mean, I've never seen two adult men holding hands. Yes, we put hands on shoulders, but holding hands? Nah. Bromance is healthy for mental health, for at least a male won't feel alone among male gender. The same with females too, but Indian women like to walk alone in her conscious journey, i.e. Indian women generally is more intensive and serious by nature. Uh, she also, she doesn't like to trust anybody, but what is this guy going on about? But herself alone, an Indian woman is serious learner in her conscious journey. This, this is a weird comment. This is a very weird comment. Uh, it's sad that people had to explain it's a non-sexual contact. Um, I never held my male friend's hands. I only hold girls' hands or kiss kids' hands. It's a natural instinct. It's bromance. West is not the world. Every country area has its own way to live. People kiss and say it's brotherhood, just like girl boy says we are friends. These are side effects of society not accepting. Okay. 
Nah, I know what the guy wanted to hold hands in eighth grade. Still gives me goosebumps. People put their hands over your shoulders, but holding hands I've now seen, it's definitely off. Let me just scroll a little bit. I want to I get down into some of the old, slightly older, but slightly newer comments. Uh, my guy friends don't even have eye contact with each other properly, let alone holding hands. Although Mohawk is actually doing a good work normalizing these things. I actually never touch my best friend. Even we don't shake hands. See, that's weird. That's weird. Um, in just some time, this too will work because Indians have a habit of copying the Western, whether there is need or not. Hmm. It's a keen to sports team culture. Um, nine, 12 minutes wasted. It's raindrop, raindrop. Indian guys are so hot and awesome. Okay. You being Indian guys saying this. <laughs> Yeah, even European players score goals. They hug their teammates. It's just brothership, not homosexuality. Yeah, like, like, yeah, like, hugging and, like, contact is normal. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't like holding hand, hands, but I let them put hands over my shoulders. Same with cousins, brothers. Disease of homosexuality still hasn't pervaded Indian society. Wow, what an asshole. Um, let me being a girl and still refuse my best friend to hold my hands at school. My friend, whoever made this video has a complex. Uh, why do you want to see everything through Western eyes? You have such a big complex. Be proud to be Indian. There's nothing wrong for Indian men to hold hands. It's not a sexual context, just friendship on a deeper level. I do not, I do not strongly or lightly support L. Oh, he does not <laughs> support LGBT. Okay. Um, all right. Okay. Well, <sighs> interesting, interesting, interesting video, interesting video. I think I, I it, it just comes down to like a societal and cultural upbringing where men and women tend to not interact at a younger age. Thus, men feel more comfortable with holding hands. I, I guess that's 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 the, the 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 crux of it. That goes down. That's that's like the basis of it, right? It's just they they grow up with it being more comfortable. Hmm. I still don't feel like the, the, my question was answered, <laughs> but I, 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 I am more learned on the situation now. So, uh, with that being said, I think I'm going to go. Yeah, that is a good one. Thank care, everybody. Wow. I said that really weird. Take care, everybody. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Okay. Goodbye. Oh, before I go, actually, remember to uh, like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see this video, the link to his video, as well as every video I react to, is in the description down below. Not every video is in the description. I mean in the, the reaction, the video that I'm reacting to is in the description. Anyways, goodbye.